Yo, welcome to Lane Hire Car University. My name is Conrad Lane. I'm gonna share my pros and cons of why I decided to join Hire Car and why I added my cars to the Hire Car platform. I've been on Hire Car for over three years and it's going on four years and I love it. I'm making money out here, no errors in the You can definitely do the same, you can be better than me. But let me hop right into it. I wanna be as transparent and honest as possible. I'm gonna share the ugly, the bad, and the good. So let's hop with the good first. So the pros, uh, first and foremost, I love the fact that Hire Car allows you to actually download the person that's reading your car driver license an image of it so you have it for your own records i love the fact that there's a high car rental contract so if something happens to your car which is very rare but has happened and can happen but very rare in my from my personal perspective and opinion if your car is stolen compromised not brought back if they're running late you have access for local authorities you give them your information their information i mean which is pretty cool i also love the fact that you have the option to turn off and on um, the rental extensions. What that means essentially is when someone's reading your car, say their extension is about to end today, for example, and say you're like, you know what? I don't want to read it to this person anymore. You can actually simply turn it off. You're in full control in regards. You don't have to accept it. So I love the fact that we have full control to simply toggle on or off an extension option. I love that. Most importantly, I really love the fact that Hire Car is really a long-term oriented type of platform, meaning you're uh, for the most part like my car has been on the hire platform for over two years rented with the same guy which is pretty cool he's really great really great personality very responsible very communicative and he's really awesome there's some really good renters on hire car because these people are basically renting your car since you need to earn ends meet basically they're uber drivers or amazon flex drivers they're um uh, Grubhub, Instacart, Uber Eats, they drive for a living and they make money with your car, which is pretty cool. And that kind of segues into my next topic. You're also helping people. That's a pro for me personally. You're actually helping people. You're making a difference and giving people a vehicle that maybe, A, maybe their vehicle didn't qualify for the Uber Lyft inspections or to be to drive on the platform they're on. Maybe uh, they couldn't afford a car. Maybe they don't have a car. Maybe the car broke down. Maybe their car is new and they don't want to put miles on it. Maybe their car is just nice. They don't want to put miles on it. They want to put miles on your car because they know they drive a lot. That's the thing. But I love the fact that we can actually help people actively just by allowing them to rent our cars. It's a win-win situation. You're helping someone and they're helping you, making you money, which is pretty cool. I really also love another pro is Hire Car actually accepts older vehicles. Turo is awesome. I'm a Turo power host. No Eric is intended. I love Turo very much, but Turo accepts more newer cars, which is great. And that's awesome. So it's a completely different demographic. But Hire Car allows you to add on much older vehicles than what Turo would ever accept. And what Avell would accept, way older. Avell and Turo don't really accept uh, older cars for the most part, in my opinion. Um, there's, there's a limit. Hire Car is much more lenient and much more liberal in regards to accepting older vehicles. So what that means for you and I is that you could buy older cars for cheap, rent them out and make a lot of money on cheap, older cars. Phenomenal. I love that. That's one of the main reasons why I decided to add vehicles and purchase vehicles that I can buy older vehicles for cheap and rent them out. And all the cars I have on the platform, I've already made my money back and then some by by far like it's compounded at this point like it's just making me money it's passive at this point i love it you guys and y'all could do the same as me you can even be better than me as i mentioned no areas intended this is Emmett to brown sharing my insight this is really cool but besides that that's what i love about high cars as well the option to be able to buy older cars and that they're so liberal in regards to allowing you to add older cars on of course you gotta take care of them but it's cool you have the option um i really love the fact that high car allows you to rent to uber drivers amazon drivers these are people that actually are wanting to make money with your car so what does that mean for you that means that these people are more inclined to pay you not that it doesn't happen not that i've never had that issue i have but for the most part most of them paying it they're really nice and courteous about it because you're helping them make money and remember they're inclined they don't want to get in trouble they want to drive for uber live amazon flex instacart grub up to make money with your car so they, they're inclined to pay you and remember they're making money so since you have your car the very purpose of them having your car is to make money. So that means they're more likely to pay you. They have a job. It's like a bank that wants to loan money to someone. They're more inclined to loan money to people that actually have an income. These people you're running to have an income. I love that. That's huge. And that's one of my main reasons also why I love hire car. Another reason I love, I love hire cars is because they do run a motor vehicle report, basically a background check. And that's pretty cool. So that means they check and vet, make sure this person is a safe driver or that they they have a uh, actual license. It's not expired. They do all that for you, which gives you a bit more peace of mind. They also go a step further for those that don't know about this. And I mentioned the secret a lot. You can actually call Hire Car and they'll run additional background checks on your behalf on different true, uh, sorry, on different Hire Car renters. And what they'll do is they'll even let you know how they did with other 
high car owners if they if this is, a, this is their first time at the rodeo so if they were late or if they got in an accident or if they're at fault or if they drive back with low gas they'll let you know that it's so that's pretty cool i really love that about high car they're very very transparent um and yeah those are my pros let's get into the cons now so the cons are i don't like the fact that it's um very much limited in regards to that you are put in a position where you have to actually when you're renting a car to someone they're basically someone that is going to accrue uh long-term mileage so i like the fact that it's long term but remember since they're using the car for rentals they're going to accrue a lot of miles on the vehicle in comparison to say like Turo is more short-term oriented for my opinion um high car for the most part these people drive back and forth uber and lyft all day eight hours a day maybe even 10 20 hours per day and they can put a lot of miles on your vehicle so that's why i always strategize that buy, buying older vehicles actually makes more sense because you don't want to buy new vehicles to destroy them with all the high mileage usage so that's kind of like one of the cons but at the same time it's also a pro because the fact they put so many miles on your vehicle they're also long-term renters at the same time so that's that's my issue with it for the most part um get right into it and also the fact that um when we also you're capped at certain like cleaning so for example the cleaning fees are basically like capped um so Turo, for example there's a much higher limit that they allow and um higher is much more limited where it's like 30 dollars for the first uh, insurance plan for example the second was like 50 dollars and then it goes up to like 70 and but what if you have uh, someone really messed your car up and remember they're, they're being used by many people because they're picking up and dropping off people so it might be dirty you might need to get fully detailed so that might be a loss so i just want to be honest with you there's a lot of upside a lot of benefit you can make a lot of money here but the limits at, at this point in time for cleaning fees are very capped and limited even for keys also is another con if someone loses your key unless you have the two two of the um insurance policy at this point you're not going to be covered and then at the same time they only cover up say for example max like 300 dollars. so what if your key costs 600 i have a car that i own on the Turo platform my key is 650 dollars. so that means if uh, on Turo, they'll actually cover that but on high car only half will be covered so it's at a loss so that means i probably wouldn't want to put that car on the platform or i'll get a cheaper key i can use for that car something like that you know those are cons um yeah, I mean, for the most part, I love high car, but those are some of the cons that I've noticed is uh, is in, really in regards to that. Um, yeah, but I love that. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything here, but that's about it. I love you guys. Like, subscribe, share, follow me on Instagram, Connor Lane. If you want any assistance or you want to grow your business even further, feel free to actually um, join. Press hit that join button. About to get out of here, about to drive out in my Volkswagen Jetta. Love you guys. Connor Lane out. Peace. Almost forgot. There's one more. I was just about to say bye, but and I did, so I forgot. I'm human. Sorry. One more con. And remember, I love hire car, but one more con. Hire car only allows you at this time to upload six pictures of the car and check out. And when you're checking out the vehicle to someone, so you, when your renter meets with you, you only have six pictures. That's to me terrible in my opinion, and I've complained about that. So what you have to do is you have to record a video, and I have a video, I have many videos that go into how to properly document a higher car. But if you only take six pictures, that doesn't give you enough opportunity to really document your car. And if it comes back damaged or destroyed, you might lose out on the claim, which is crazy. Because you only have six pictures. That's not enough, in my personal opinion. For example, on higher car, you can add as many as you want for the most part. Um, but on higher car, it's only six pictures. So what you have to do, record a video. That's my con also way too limited in regards to taking pictures you can't really well document your your vehicle so you have to take a video take your own pictures and email it to hire a car and that's how you document yourself so it's time stamped but anyways now let's do this uh, again like subscribe share love you guys currently out peace